They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hi, my name's Dino from Game Over Man Podcast. Now we're going to be looking at doing things slightly different with the blog site and the podcast here at Game Over Man. Basically with a more professional attitude. As well as the revamp of GameOverManCast.blogspot.co.uk soon to be GameOverPodcast.com Me and Lee started Dean and Lee's Friday Night In. A small segment in which me and Lee play a game of our choice, fuck around and get drunk while doing it for your viewing pleasure. Now this is where I get to introduce my own segment. I'm into my zombie things, like an unhealthy passion. Books, films, games, money pots, you name it, anything. For example, Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, my hero, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and my hero. Now I imagine you've all got the picture. So here's my first game to you guys. It's called How to Survive. How to Survive is a third person survival horror RPG zombie game released on Xbox Live Arcade, PS3 Network and the Wii U eShop. The story mode, co-op mode and a survival mode are on offer over all platforms apart from the Wii U. And no matter where you look in the gaming world, the Wii U still manages to get shit for existing. As it should. The game starts off with a radio message from a boat, presumably which you're on, portraying a collision of some sort because some snotty-nosed ignorant twat pretty much calls you an idiot. This is the Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Scamper VL 2841. Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Channel 16. Your trajectory is fine, keep your course, over. Coast Guard, please confirm, Green, right ahead. And so the story begins. Wind up on a beach that resembles the morning after a night out on an Ibiza club street. As you can see, the resemblance is uncanny. You then bump into a fella on the beach named Andrew, who unfortunately has been bitten, but tells you that there are some medicinal plants scattered about the place, and if you bring them to him, they'll help ease the pain. Listen, I know there are medicinal plants around here. You gotta bring me one. It should ease the pain. Please, be quick. I'm bleeding. If it bleeds, we can kill it. And I often I wondered attack, sometimes but, uh, whether or not I was in fact in Ibiza or on a place called me. Innuendo Island. Night's about to fall, and I got a favor to ask you. Come on, don't be shy. But all jokes aside, How to Survive is a very, very enjoyable game. And one of the main aspects that captured me is the humour within the game itself. This includes books you pick up along the way written by island survivor Kovac. They consist of small humorous cutscenes giving tips on how to play the game and quite literally how to survive on the island. These tips range from simply telling you how to move and aim your character with the analogue sticks to taking out a zombie with one swift button press. Also, you'll be told how to keep yourself alive and healthy through the game, from picking up plants, herbs and drinking water to replenish hunger and thirst, to combining fabric with other items you find in the world to deal with more serious wounds. The are full of medicinal plants to treat your wounds. Eating these plants will help you to regain your health. For more serious wounds, put the leaves in a cloth to make a poultice. Finally, I have left some presents for you. The med kits are powerful gifts. They will fully heal you in a flash. Now, as well as your health in the game, you got to protect yourself from zombies. And you do this you again by picking items. up whatever items you come across, Choose combining wisely. them whichever way possible, creating weapons that range from melee spiked hand axes to scuba diving canister powered shotguns. Now, as any zombie enthusiast will know, nighttime is the wrong time to be outside, let alone trying to survive. Now come nightfall you'll be introduced to a few more deadlier enemies, ones in particular that are reminiscent of the liquors from the Resident Evil series. A convenient torch or a stick from pre-lit fire will ward off these nocturnal nightmares a few feet giving you enough time to let loose a deadly swing from your machete, axe or a ranged weapon if you have one. Amongst all of this eating, drinking, healing, hunting, slicing and shooting, you're going to get tired. Placed around each of the islands are these small metal shacks that when opened let off an inconvenient rape alarm or dinner bell, whichever you fancy. Take out all the surrounding zombies, wait for the green light, close the door and sleep inside to replenish your stamina. 
Now I've had as much fun playing How to Survive as I have had making this video. It's a great game with, I feel, a lot going for it. Humorous, comical content, enough foraging and item combining to keep the zombie killing interesting, and cooperative multiplayer options to take the game a little further once the story mode is complete. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my first addition to my zombie section of Game Over Man. And if you've got any suggestions on any other games that you'd like to see, just leave us a message. Like and subscribe and catch us on Twitter at GameOverPod and myself personally at Dino Sorter. Thank you and see you again.